in a stunning victory aided by scandal, Democrat Doug Jones won Alabama's special Senate election on Tuesday, beating back history, an embattled Republican opponent and President Donald Trump, who urgently endorsed GOP rebel Roy Moore despite a litany of sexual misconduct allegations. It was the first Democratic Senate victory in a quarter century in Alabama, one of the reddest of red states, and proved anew that party loyalty is anything but sure in the age of Trump. The Republican loss was a major embarrassment for the president and a fresh wound for the nation's already divided GOP. We have shown not just around the state of Alabama, but we have shown the country the way that we can be unified, Jones declared as supporters in a Birmingham ballroom cheered, danced, and cried tears of joy. Still in shock, the Democrats struggled for words, I think that I have been waiting all my life, and now I just don't know what the hell to say. More. Meanwhile, refused to concede and raised the possibility of a recount during a brief appearance at a somber campaign party in Montgomery. It's not over, Moore said. He added, we know that God is still in control. From the White House, Trump tweeted his congratulations to Jones on a hard-fought victory but added pointedly that the Republicans will have another shot at the seat in a very short period of time. It never ends, after what seems like years the Alabama special election is over. The race to replace Attorney General Jeff Sessions in the Senate featured votes spanning nearly four full months, featured one bizarre turn after another, and ended Tuesday night with Democrat Doug Jones pulling off the upset over. After what seems like years, the Alabama special election is over. The race to replace Attorney General Jeff Sessions in the Senate featured votes spanning nearly four full months, featured one bizarre turn after another, and ended Tuesday night with Democrat Doug Jones pulling off the upset over. Jones takes over the seat previously held by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The term expires in January of 2021. The victory by Jones, a former U.S. attorney best known for prosecuting two Ku Klux Klansmen responsible for Birmingham's infamous 1963 church bombing, narrows the GOP advantage in the U.S. Senate to 51 to 49 that imperils already uncertain Republican tax, budget and health proposals and injects tremendous energy into the Democratic Party's early push to reclaim House and Senate majorities in 2018. Still, many Washington Republicans viewed the defeat of Moore as perhaps the best outcome for the party nationally despite the short-term sting. The fiery Christian conservatives' positions have alienated women, racial minorities, gays, and Muslims, in addition to the multiple allegations that he was guilty of sexual misconduct with teens, one only 14, when he was in his 30s. Democrats didn't just win Alabama on Tuesday night. They won their clearest path yet to taking back the Senate majority next year. No we're not saying the Senate majority will definitely switch parties in next November's midterm elections as a result of one race, as remarkable as the race was. Democrats didn't just win Alabama on Tuesday night.